this is me chilling, vibing, listening to some techie music before the great story user walks up. So I roll out, dot shot out, hit him with a sweep, knock him down in a perforate, roll out, hit him with explosive shot. He's bleeding, he's hurting, he's immortal, and he dies to the bleeds. All right, YouTube, so before I show you this build, I'm just going to show you how it counters Greatsword and how it performs in 1vx PvP. I catch this guy before he's pouring out. He's dodging and evading pretty well. Pull out my spear, hit him with sweep, a couple perforates. We're trading his heavies for my lights. I dodge roll out, heal up, pull out the bow and finish him off pretty quickly. This next fight shows what makes this build so strong against Greatsword. He's rushing at me using all his stams. I keep dodge rolling. The second I see him out of grit, I knock him down in a perforate and almost one combo this guy. He catches me with a crosscut, does a lot of damage. I keep rolling, pull out my bow, and he is forced to run and die. This fight was actually my first fight versus Greatsword on bow. I pressed tab to show you guys my uh, bow level. It's only 513. My actual skill level on my bow right here is only level 15, it's not even maxed. I was leveling my weapon while this guy turned up flagged, and I show him what's up, man. Hit him with perforate. As you see, proc his immortal. He just begins to run and run. I end up catching him. Into another sweep. Try and finish him off. He's healing every time he stands up. Pretty good, pretty good. I end up chasing around the tent again for another 5 minutes before I finally catch him with the hop into the sweep and he just dies from the burst. This next fight's a 1vx. I saw a few purples here and I wanted to kind of catch him off guard so I was running around kiting him for a little bit before this guy decided to come up here which is a mistake. He really thinks he can 1v1 me and quickly realizes it is a huge mistake. I catch him with a few arrows, hop at him, he jumps down back to his healer but it's too late man. Wait for him to make a mistake, catch him in the sweep, hit him with perforate. This is my ultimate as he dodges, which is really good. It's okay. Hit him with dodge shot. Finish him off really quickly. The mage comes at me. I try and dodge roll his ice shower. He gets me anyway, so I have to attack. Hit him with the stagger. He hits me with fireball. I'm pretty low. Um, so I end up having to heal. I just end up baiting this guy coming out the door real quick and just wait for him. He's baited so hard. The second I see him knock him into a sweep in a perforate, he almost gets one comboed. He ends up potting. The second he stands up, tries to run. Hit him with some arrows. He dodges my explosive shot, but gets hit with the dodge shot, and it's over, dude. 1v2. Technically 1v3. All right, this next fight's a 1vx. This is the last fight I'm going to show you guys before I show you the build. It's a Warhammer Fire Staff user. I start off with a dodge shot. He charges, so I miss. Hit him with a sweep. It's a perforate. He starts to panic, and you can tell. I'm hitting him with normals, and he's just dodge rolling, dodge rolling. I dodge his main DPS attack back into some normal attacks. Finish him off really quickly. This level 39 runs at me. I don't know why, but I mean, if you're going to run at me, dude, you can get the smoke. He ends up just trying to hide at him with an explosive shot into some normal attacks. And he just tries to run and it's just like, what are you doing, bro? You're out of your league, man. Got another archer here. He ends up hitting me with a dodge shot. Does a good amount of damage. It's okay. I hit him with my bleed. He tries to pressure me. I end up healing up. Hit him with my dodge shot. Do way more damage than he did with his. I thought I had detonate on, so I ended up wasting my ultimate. Big mistake on my part, but it's okay. Hit him with the sweep, knock down in a perforate. Guy gets hit with the burst. I got a great sword user on my backside, and at this point, I was trying to get the finish, and the great sword user gets me. All right, you guys, as you see, this build performs long range, close range, short range, doesn't matter. It has a lot of 1vx potential, a lot of 1v1 potential. I'm gonna go ahead and hop into showing you the build. Long shot, baby! Yo, what's up you guys? I logged here on my bow user here on tomorrow. Go ahead and get into it. All right, so my build is mostly the same as my last dex guide. Uh, as far as my gear, elemental version, resilient, bigger, bigger, so that I can counter all damage over time, which usually most range users and mages, as well as uh, bow, uh, bow users will have. Um, there's also bleeds on greatsword. Uh, I have the thrust ward gems which are best in slot for this build because the biggest threat is other range users, dex users, muskets, and bows. However, 
Um, you could swap these out. I would only recommend maybe one or two. If you're having a lot of trouble with melee users, graceful users, you could swap them out for Moonstone, which would be slash damage resistance. However, with the amount of stamina and dodges you have with this build, you shouldn't have a huge problem with getting away from most melee. Um, so, I have bigger physical version of resilient on my chest piece, elemental version of resilient bigger on gloves, and then striking fortification is the most important part for countering melee. Um, striking fortification, refreshing resilient, striking fortification, resilient, and invigorated. Invigorated just for the last a bit of damage over time reduction. Um, Best in the slot would be to replace the damage over time debuffs like Vigor and Invigorated for Freedom. That would be best in slot, honestly. Uh, however, uh, this build is also very good because damage over time does hurt a lot. For my weapon, I have Energizing Evade Shot, which is huge. That's your largest damage dealing skill. A Boreal Attunement gives you extra damage and ambitious for the huge crits especially on explosive shot because most of your hits are guaranteed to crit having I mean, vicious to give you a guaranteed um basically 12 percent damage all of your crits after dodge rolls and then for my spear i'm using double damage over time kingly jagged and bleeding sweep which is how you saw me burst the person in the first clip it's doing the same amounts of damage over time and people without or uh, damage over time reduction cannot survive Flame Attunement for the extra damage every one second. Uh, slash Protection and Health. I'm missing Stamina Recovery. If this was Legendary, I would want Stamina Recovery. You could also go with Thrust Protection and Health if you're trying to counter Rangers. Um, and then Refreshing Evasion, Thrust Damage, Hardy. I believe this is the best in slot ring for most dex builds. Uh, invoke for her two lands. Refreshing, Refreshing Toast, Regenerating. I love Grassing Vines. That is my favorite heart rune to use i use detonate sometimes however i believe heart rune uh of grassing vines is the best in the slot for overall overall for this build and then i have uh i'm using uh carrot cake in order to balance out my con and my strength i only really need 50 strength for this build 150 con to her decks um, and then i am using spear sweep fewer perjury uh, exploited weakness the main things to look out for in this is I am stacking debuffs with my passives uh, the main combo is sweep into which knocks them down into perforate and I'm getting 25% damage to knock down opponents and then I am getting stamina and stamina regeneration those are the main takeaways from my spear build and then for my bow build um, again haste and mobility in the left tree with the bait shot and in my right tree with pure damage receive less damage uh, while aiming which is huge because you can right click while using rapid shot and you can also right click while using heavy attacks so i'm boosting heavy attacks explosive arrow into concussion which gives me headshot damage which is this best in slot increased critical chance uh, critical chance of bows so again more crit on top of my guaranteed crit after every dodge roll Deal 20 percent extra damage to any foe if i haven't targeted them the 20 percent more damage to target below 50 percent health this is huge that is an execute which pairs very well with the other execute and finishing blows i have two executes on both my bow and spear and then i have long range deal 50 percent more damage the foes at least 10 meters away um yeah that is my build you guys that is my build if you have any, any questions comments concerns beliefs disbeliefs please drop them in the comment section below let me know and i'll be happy to address them for you guys thanks so much for watching the video peace and love
come so deep for me, bro. It's like five of y'all, bro. What is this? One v three. One v three. 